Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Callisto protocol. We'll show you how to use TLSS for upscale in conjunction with XCSS frame generation. This guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll test the game on my Windows PC. It has a Ryzen 5700X TD processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be using OptiScale mod to inject XCSS frame gen into the game. Now this game does not support TLSS upscaler but it does support FSR2 upscaler. I'll use another mod to replace FSR2 with DLSS upscaler. Using FSR2 upscaler as the input for OptiScaler mod will cause the game to crash. This is why I'll be using the other mod to replace FSR2 with DLSS. I'll be using an older XCSS frame generation build of OptiScaler mod for Callisto as the latest builds were causing the game to crash with FSR frame generation enabled. We'll be using version 0.9. Preview 1 test build available on OptiScaler's Discord. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the dot .cmz link here. Download the latest version of TLSS Upscaler DLL file from TechPowerOff's website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.4.0. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. TCP DLSS bridge mod is available on Nexus Mod's website. You can download it for free, just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on files, download the latest version, click on manual download, click on slow download. I'll be verifying DLSS upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Amos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC, name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg, hit enter, yes, select the file, right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file, this will activate TLSS debug overlay, if you want to disable it, replace the number 4 here with 0, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable TLSS debug overlay, select the file, right click, open. Yes, ok. First I'll be installing DLSS bridge mod. It comes with an older version of DLSS upscaler version 3.6, so I won't be selecting it. Open its archive file, select the highlighted files, winmm.tll, winmm.ini, fsrbridge.asi. Right click, copy, open your Epic Games library, click on the three dots below the games box art, click on manage, click on the folder icon next to installation. Now open the Callisto protocol folder, binaries folder, win64 folder, paste everything here. Now I'll install DLSS subscaler, just open its archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the games install directory. I'll show you where to paste this file. Open the Callisto protocol folder, binaries folder, win64 folder paste the file here. Now just run the game and set the upscaler to FSR2. In game settings, VSync of no FPS gap applied, DirectX 12 very important for using frame generation. Display mode set to full screen borderless, full HD resolution. Lighting, most of the settings set to high, ray tracing disabled. Anti-lazing, you need to set it to temporal A to unlock FSR2 setting, in-game setting. Film grain, it's disabled. Motion blur, depth of field disabled. Subsurface scattering enabled. Advanced, yeah, upscaling set to FSR2 using its quality preset. Rest of the settings set to high. Show you the base game performance. Oh my god, look at that abomination. Lines at me. Yeah, here FPS is close to 80. We are hitting the GP bottleneck. Survival horror game. Oh no, should have tossed that attack. Move away from the creature. And the attack is about to land. Stun. Go. There is a 3D menu in this game. Some minor ghosting will be produced around it with XCSS frame gen enabled. But this ghosting effect will be far less aggressive than what we have seen in the case of FSR frame generation. DLSS upscaler is working, check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner, render preset use this game, version of the upscaler, latest. DLSS auto explorer setting is off, I'll enable it by OptiScaler mod. 
Before exiting the game, I'll apply a 30 FPS cap. This will make it easier for us to gauge the smoothing effect of XCSS frame gen. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll, libxcss underscore fg.tll, XCSS frame generation file. DX land version of XCSS super resolution not required. XCSS super resolution DX12 version. XCSS low latency mode file fake nv api dot ini fake nv api dot tll now there is no reflex in this game i doubt XCSS low latency mode will work when we enable XCSS frame generation via optiscaler mod select fidelity fx tx12 dot tll file copy open the games install directory open the callisto protocol folder binaries folder win64 folder paste everything here need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll the mod has been installed enabling hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using xcss frame gen but if you have an rtx gpu it's recommended to enable this setting right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics click on advanced graphics settings enable hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting from here if your monitor supports VR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select the Callisto protocol. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. I'll be using OptiScaler's hotfix feature to fix the ghosting around the subtitles in this game. So I'll just disable Afterburner RTSS. They can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod. It's hotfix feature. And just use Microsoft's performance overlay. Press Windows plus G keys together. Click on the monitor icon here. And there's the performance overlay launch the game we're in the menu the game did not crash just open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key there it is upscaler selected tlss version 310.4.0 input in game fsr2 upscaler we need to change it to tlss in order to fix the ghosting issue which will be produced when we use fsr frame gen so just expand the setting upscaler inputs and uncheck use fsi2 input setting and use ffx inputs auto explorer setting is on under init flag section first i'll run the game with xcss frame gen so i'll just set the fg source to opti fg upscaler set fg output to xcfg i'll also enable optiscaler's performance overlay just expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enable full plus graph Click on save and I close. Just restart the game. Launch. There's a character. Check out the animation quality. Yeah, it's looking very choppy as the FPS is capped at 30. After enabling XSS frame gen, animation quality should look better. Open the mod menu. Just check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. Enable hotfix. I'll use it to fix the ghosting around the subtitles. Limit value set to 1. This is enough. Now check the debug view, purple sidebar should appear, there they are, this means XCSS frame gen is working and check out the animation quality, smoother than before, disable debug view, save and I close, I'll just use XCSS inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features, game is running in the background with XCSS frame gen on, run inspector app, from this list select Callisto protocol, double click, XCSS frame generation context, yeah it's running, XCLL context, low latency mode is on but not seeing any valid frames getting generated, XCLL is most probably not working, I'm not observing any ghosting around the character model, I'll engage in combat now take on that creature coming straight towards us text no ghosting is produced around it see oh no 
a thing lunge at me so quick i'm surprised that even with a base fps of 30 latency is manageable this is 60 fps with frame generation better to target a minimum of 40 as the base fps when using xss frame gen stomp it again no ghosting is produced around the hud element i'll just open the 3d menu now barely any ghosting is produced around the hud elements of the 3d menu even during fast visual motion just observe the alt virtual button at the top of the 3d menu minor ghosting can be seen around it see very good results produced by xcss frame gen this game i'll just switch to fsr frame generation to highlight its graphical artifacts you'll get an idea how good xcss frame gen is open the mod menu make sure opti fg upscaler is set as the fg source click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select fsr fg just uncheck xcfg active setting and hardfix setting save ini close exit once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu, check the setting active under Frame Generation FSIFG, allow async setting on, hardfix on, limit value 1, show you the debug view, FSR Frame Gen. Yeah, no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the game's bigger point, DLSS debug overlay. Just disable the overlay after verifying the upscaler's details. Unfortunately, 3D menu, yeah, it shows up in the bottom middle image this is why flickering will be produced around it color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of fsr frame gen will work properly displays are working properly for all of the images there shouldn't be any depth issues debug view disabled fps increased to 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness no ghosting is produced around a character model And I'll just show you the 3D menu. <laughs> Look at the ugly ghosting effect. The entire menu is flickering. So this is why I don't recommend using FSR frame gen in this game. You'll also observe a screen tearing like effect around the edges of the display when you spin the camera. I'll just run the game with XCSS frame gen and no FPS cap applied. OptiScaler settings, XCSS frame gen on, hardfix enable, limit value 1. FPS is close to 100. And 16 animation quality it's buttery smooth and just open 3d menu move the camera around yeah as expected now you should be seeing even less ghosting around the 3d menus had elements than before when we had fps capped at 30 see before ending the video i'll just show you how to disable tlss debug overlay just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. Click on yes, ok. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.